Hello again, and welcome to Totem English Finland, Part 4. Today we're going to talk about uh, what are called false friends between English and Finnish. And I really like this term, false friends, actually. It's a really cool term. And what it means is when you have words in two different languages that look and sound the same or similar, but have totally different meanings. And there's quite a few of these between English and Finnish, not as much as, say, between English and Spanish, but still quite a few. And I've chosen what I think are 10 of the more common false friends between English and Finnish here. So let's get started then. False friend number one, the English word grape means viniruppale in Finnish, and the Finnish word greppi means grapefruit in English. So when you go through these slides, pay particular attention to the bottom parts of the slides because that is the area where you will most likely have the problem. And the pictures also help you in that regard. False friend number two. The English word tile means kakkeli in Finnish and the Finnish word tiili means brick in English. And because tealy sounds so much like tile, a Finn might say, my house is made of tile, but of course this is wrong, your house is made of brick. And similarly, Finns have problems when they describe their bathroom floor, and a bathroom floor is made of tile. False friend number three. The English word map means karta in Finnish, and the Finnish word mappi means binder in English. I hear this one quite a lot, actually. So Finns might call a binder a map or a folder, but it's wrong. It's a binder. False friend number four. The English word harmonica means huliharpu in Finnish, and the Finnish word harmonica means accordion in English. This is one that Finns sometimes struggle with, so it's good to get it right. This is one that you really, really have to think before you say, because the word faggot in English is a very, very negative word for a gay man. And even saying it now sort of makes me cringe, so you definitely don't want to say faggot. But here's false friend number five. The English word faggot means kimpu or homo in Finnish. And the Finnish word fagotti means bassoon in English. So that woman is playing the bassoon False friend number six is another instrument and the last of the instruments that we do. So you have to sort of really think with these instruments. Okay, here it goes. The English word bassoon means fagotti in Finnish, as we just covered. And the Finnish word bassuna means trombone in English. So that instrument there in the picture is a trombone. False friend number seven. The English word liquor means vakava alcohol yuoma in Finnish. And the Finnish word liquori means liqueur in English. And I want to say a little bit about liquor and liqueur because Finns often confuse them and they're very easy to confuse. So first, liquor is any strong alcohol. It's any alcohol that's not beer or wine. It's distilled and not fermented like beer and wine are. Liqueur, on the other hand, is a type of liquor. It is strong, sweet, and flavorful, and you usually drink it from a small glass after a meal. Kahlua, Bailey's Irish Cream, Curacao. These are all examples of liqueurs. False friend number eight. The English word truck means kurma auto or reka auto in Finnish. The Finnish word truki means forklift in English. So the man in the picture is driving a forklift. False friend number nine. The English word novel means romani in Finnish. And the Finnish word novelli means short story in English. Finns often struggle when they're coming up with the word for short story, and then they say novel, and this is wrong. So novelli is a short story. False friend number 10. The English word risky means uskalias in Finnish, and the Finnish word risky as an adjective means strong in English. And this is one I actually don't hear very often because Finns usually know the word for strong, but still it's good to know and to think about and to make sure you get it right. Finally, I just wanted to give you this list that you can study from so that you can get past these mistakes.
Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful and useful and interesting. And if you did, then I hope you will click on the thumbs up below. And also, as always, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And I just want to remind you, if you've watched the other videos, then you know this, but I have a course called 50 Common English Mistakes Made by Finns on a site called Udemy. And I have a link to that course below. There's a 50% discount on the course, which means it would cost you 10 euros. Uh, and also I have a Twitter feed, so you can find my Twitter feed below as well. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.